from Tantara, sitting on a, uh, I think mainly calcite matrix, uh, interesting white calcite and some yellowish calcite associated too. Uh, you'll see the yellowish calcite sitting in here. But this material is quite unusual to me. Um, I haven't seen much of this with the either Shatukat or Kasakala. I think in this case may even be Kasakala associated with the calcite. Now there's an underlying form to the Kasakalas. I'll just move in on this vug. If you look inside there, could also be Shatukat. Uh, I think most would identify it as Shatukat. Um, Shatuka to me would be little compacted sprays of blue needles. Can be displayed all the way around. Lovely colorful specimen. So it's got the blues um, intermixed with a little bit of yellow and of course on the snow white. Um, it's like a, a, a blue formation on this, on this snowscape with a little bit of yellowishness in between. All the way from the uh, uh, Tantara mine, place of much beauty. So let's have an artistic view of the specimen. Look at that. Look at that. And there's definitely underlying crystallization to this this formation sitting on the on the calcites. Let's go in here. Go around like this again. Around like this. And of course, this is a lovely vug. You can zoom in on this vug. Just go in there. That's on another section. So it can be displayed various ways around. Cross section, there we have a formation sitting on the calcite. Around like that. Let's go on that cross section. Not much to look at there, but there is final crystallization on that top. So if you if you have that as a head, you basically there we go. All the way from Tantara in the Katanga Copper Crescent, Congo.